Hi everyone, welcome to Difference Frames the World, a permanently demonetized independent channel to see the world differently. We are sorry that we have not updated the channel and other channels for three days, and there is a reason. In the past 72 hours, we have been deeply grieved for losing our beloved cat, Atlas, on August 13, 2022. Atlas is always the first viewer of our videos, and he is an indispensable participant in most DFTW videos so far. Without him, we do not know whether we can sustain ourselves for eight months of demonetization. We still cannot believe he is gone and can picture him in the house. We see him everywhere, but we cannot find him anywhere. And we do not want to use the past tense when mentioning him. He is always in our memory, and he is always part of the family. Atlas is not merely a cat, he is also a pal, a partner for us. He has been sitting with us all day and night till the moment our videos are uploaded on the channel for the past two years. His favorite spot is beside my keyboard, and he periodically nibbles my hand when I spend too much time typing without paying attention to him. He may think the keyboard grabs too much of my love from him. He is always the focus of our family. We love him better than loving our boy, who is kind and sensitive and occasionally talks back. Atlas never talks back, and he never says things louder to us. He loves us by licking our hands with his tongue, as if polishing them with a piece of sandpaper. He always follows us, making sure all of us are all right. Instead of being a cat, he acts as a superintendent and does not allow us to close doors, fearing we might be at risk in a confined space. He is afraid of water and hates it, but he is always around the bathtub for fear that we get drowned. Atlas is parenting us. And at night, he stays alert in the corridor, monitoring the rooms of all family members. Even when he is not feeling well, he babysits us. We never know that he has a heart issue. When the vet tells us that he suffers from a blockage and cannot urinate by himself, we do not think he will leave us suddenly. The vet assures us that most cats survive, and we tell ourselves it is not a big deal. We have squeezed thousands of dollars from credit cards and cash money to save him, and we have also used up all the money for property tax, hoping he will recover soon. The demonetization already puts us in a dire condition, and his medical bills push us over the edge. We advise viewers to buy pet insurance for their pets immediately. Atlas is only three, and we have never thought the day would come so unexpectedly. Pound foolish and pennywise, we have not bought pet insurance for him, believing he will not have a problem at such an early age of three. We have to see him off due to heart failure. The vet says it is not fair for him to suffer from the blockage and suffocation any longer. He has lived on oxygen for seven hours before we finally let him go. Letting go of him is painful, but keeping him in pain is too much for him. All family members surround him and see him off. We must give him the dignity to leave us for heaven without feeling the pain anymore. The vet turns off his heart, saying, he is gone. He is not. His eyes are still open, as usual. My son wants to close his eyes with a hand, but to no avail. I believe Atlas still has something to tell me. I remain in the room while my boy and his mom leave. I gently caress his fur and tell him to wait for me in heaven, and I will meet him someday. I have composed myself well before my son and his mother, but I do not want to hold myself together once I am alone with Atlas. I hold him in my hands, but tears stop me from seeing him. I put my forehead on his belly and find it is starting to cool down. He has closed his eyes, though. He must have heard my promise to meet him someday. Atlas is gone, I know. But I do not want to admit it. Three days have passed, and I still can picture him when I close my eyes. In the empty house, I feel him everywhere. He is hiding from me. He has been avoiding us for many days. Perhaps he knows his days are numbered, and he does not want us to feel the pain of losing him. His bladder would have exploded, and he would have passed away after days of torture if we had not found him and sent him to the emergency. He has been well treated in the clinic, but his heart has failed him, and his lungs do not function well. We are fortunate that he has spent his last days without pain, and when he leaves, his fur is smooth, well combed, and his body is clean. 
He looks like an angel when I cover the sheet on his corpse. He falls asleep, and he never leaves us behind.